Hey guys, welcome back. This is Bernardo from the BTNHD, and yes, welcome back to part 6 of 12 of our MDT 2013 Deploying Windows 8.1. And uh, this part, we're going to go over the task sequence, which is pretty self-explanatory. Uh, so let's let's get into it. So the first thing I normally like to do is create folders uh, within the task sequence node. So I'm going to right-click and create a new folder, and I'm going to create a Windows 8.1. 64 bit because that's what I'm going to be pushing out. I'm going to hit next, next, and finish. And within here, as you can see in my 86 bit, I already created a task sequence for that. So let's create one for my 64 bit. Right click and create new task sequence. And I'm going to do 0002. The sequence ID is really up to you. Uh, so be creative or just make sure that it fits your. Uh, your environment. So the task sequence name, I normally like to do it as Windows 8.1 64-bit, TS, which is task sequence, and V001, which is version 1. And I like to keep notes uh, because you never know who's gonna, who you're gonna hand this to. You're probably gonna be scheduled to do something else with servers so you want you want the person that's going to be managing this in the future to know what's what and we're going to hit next uh we're going to do a standard client task sequence i know you guys want me to take care of the sip prep and capture but later on I guarantee i'm going to do that with you guys so it's a sip prep is not what we're going to be doing we're doing a standard client task sequence which is automatically by default chosen for you we're going to hit next we're going to select our operating system because this is a 64-bit task sequence. We need to pick a 64-bit. We hit next. Uh, we're not going to specify the product key. Uh, you, if you do have a product key, I would say go for it. Enter the product key. If you have a MAK product key, enter it. Uh, if you have a KMS, which is a key management server within your infrastructure, say do not specify the product key because once your machine is up and running within your network, it's going to get activated with your KMS, right? So we're going to hit next on this. Uh, give it a name. My name is Bernardo. Organization is BTN, BTNHD. And the website, give it your company's website. There you go. And we're going to hit next. Now, give it a local administrative password. Now, this local administrative password would be the administrative password for your local machine, for the local uh, account. So make sure you jot it down and remember it and share it with your IT people. There we go. We're going to hit next. A nice little summary. We're going to hit next. And it's completed. We hit finish. And that's it, guys. That is how you create a task sequence. But let's get into a little bit more in depth. Let's double click on it. And get into it uh, in general tab you get all the information of what the task sequence is like the comments task sequence name you can actually change everything from here task sequence version uh, by default is this can run on any platform but if you want you could choose okay I only want this to be run on 64-bit uh, 8.1 machines but I'm gonna leave it as the default you can hide it. You can hide this task sequence within the deployment wizard, but I'm not going to do that. And you could disable it or enable it. By default, it's enabled, but you could disable it by unchecking it. But we're not going to do that. Let's go inside the task sequence. So this is where all the magic happens. Uh, so this is the task sequence, guys. Uh, so within here, this is where all the magic happens. Uh, not too much to do. I don't want to go too much in depth right here, but. Uh, if you do have any custom tasks, like any VB scripts that you want to push out to your machine, like fonts or installing printers or customizing shortcuts, I recommend it. I recommend putting it inside your custom task node. Uh, your install applications variable within your task sequence just basically installs everything that you have chosen within your deployment runtime. Uh, you can also disable it and tell it which ones you want, but that's more work for you if you want to do that. Uh, imaging process, this is going to be later on during the SIP prep, so we're not going to do that. And we're going to go to our OS. And within our OS info, this is where you are able to edit your unintended.xml file within the operating system. This is actually going to open up your Win file, and you're able to edit the unintended file. So let's click on that. 
and this process takes a while so I would normally go get a cup of coffee and come back and work on it so I see you guys uh, once this is finished uh, opening up all right so it finally opened awesome so once the unintended XML file is open this is where you start playing around and start customizing your Windows deployment even more uh, I'm not gonna get too much in depth with you guys on this but if you guys want me to touch base on this part right here only hit that like button and leave a comment below and let me know and I will do a video just specializing with this but let's get down to the basics I don't really like to go into the generalize and go inside here uh, from right here you can do not clean taskbar this is true Register owner, you can actually change this. So I'm going to change the register owner to BTNHD. Uh, another section would be the specialized section right here. You can actually customize your IE, your Internet Explorer, even further. Uh, I believe in the portion unintended join, I'm trying to remember the shell part right here. This is right here, you can change the time zone. So I'm gonna change it to Eastern because that's where I'm at. You can actually give a computer name. Uh, this is really up to you if you wanna give it a computer name. But later on, again, uh, <laughs> once the series is over, I'm gonna show you guys how to generate a name within your MDT server. But for now, just for the heck of it, let's just call it uh, BJ-Temp, okay? Uh, copy profile, we're not gonna do that. Uh, product key, you can actually enter your product key within your unintended file if you want, but again, you can actually enter your product key within the MBT. Remember that option that it gave it when we created our task sequence? Uh, but I didn't specify it because again, I'm just testing this stuff out, but if you guys have a KMS server, go for it. Register owner is me, time zone we change, and once you do all the changes that you need, again, hit that like button, give me a comment below if you guys want me to go more in depth on this and uh, once you complete it with the basic stuff we're gonna hit the save button awesome we're gonna close it and we're gonna apply a task sequence and once you're completed just right click your deployment and update your deployment share and that's it guys and hopefully you guys enjoyed this part 6 of 12 remember stay tuned for part 7 8 9 and 10 it's gonna get interesting because we're gonna get into customizing our Windows 8.1 and entering that customization within our task sequence so it could deploy to a brand new machine. So that's awesome. Uh, don't forget about hitting that like button. The more likes that I get from these videos, the more that I'm going to work harder to create these videos and push them out to you guys. And uh, catch you guys on the next one. Peace out.